around the world scrambling to beef up, and secu beef up security. But some of the biggest precautions really may be in London, where the next major marathon is set for this Sunday. Even before that, tomorrow's funeral in London for the former Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, is expected to draw enormous crowds. The chief Foxport correspondent, Jonathan Hunt, our resident Brit, live in our New York studios. It's, it's going to be a very different atmosphere, I would presume, at London's marathon this year. It certainly is, Chef. And organizers are already saying they would like the London's marathon on Sunday to be in part a tribute to the victims of the Boston bombings. Uh, there will be a 30-second period of silence before each of the three starts uh, along the marathon route. They are encouraging runners also to wear black armbands. Those armbands are going to be given out to every single runner as they register for the race. And of course, the uh, police force in London and all the security forces are reviewing security, although they say they do have not, at this point, stepped up any threat level. Listen. We are working with the London Marathon to make sure that we have all of the tactics in place that we need. But I would stress again, there has been no change at all to the terrorism threat to the UK at the moment. Now, obviously, the London security forces are used to this kind of thing. They had a lot of practice with extra security during the Olympics last summer. Ahead of London, Chef, also worth pointing out that there are major races taking place in the United States. The next one, the Salt Lake City Marathon on Saturday. They're also reviewing security there, Chef.